Welcome to Snapcoms. Today I'll show you how to use the Snapcoms RSS ticker. Log into your content manager and select create content. Then find and select the RSS ticker icon. Now select your theme. The theme controls the styles and colors of the scrolling RSS ticker. I am selecting the organizational branding theme where the corporate identity I have selected in the branding section will govern the look of my ticker. Name your RSS ticker. In this case, mine will be the Wall Street Journal World News. Select the folder where you want to save the RSS ticker. I will use a folder called RSS Feeds. Then select Create Content. Now the designer interface will appear with a placeholder for your scrolling RSS ticker. This is where you will configure the RSS feed. Click on the scrolling text and place the URL of your RSS feed in the URL field. To find the URL, Google the Wall Street Journal RSS and select the category you prefer. Then copy the URL from the browser address bar, go back to the Snapcoms Content Manager and paste it in the URL field. Use this check button to confirm you have a valid RSS format that can be read by the Snapcoms RSS ticker. An acceptable URL will usually have the .xml extension. Then click Done. Now click the preview icon to see how the scrolling RSS feed will look on the end user's screens. Note that the Wall Street Journal logo has automatically been included in the XML and shows at the start of the feed. I'm very happy with how that looks, but I'd like to add a border to the white background of the ticker container. Close the preview, then switch to designer mode by clicking the pencil icon. Now open the setting and select the background tab. You can use the color picker to choose any color you like or use the hex or RGB value if you have an exact color specified. But I must follow strict corporate ID, so I choose the default color that has been set in the branding section. I am happy with the elegant narrow border width of one pixel, but you can change that to something heavier if you prefer. Then click Done. Notice how I can increase the height of the ticker by dragging the sizing arrow. The width of the ticker will always be the full width of the screen. I am happy with the design and setup of the feed, so I will close the designer and move to the right side of the screen. The red indicates a configuration that needs to be set before we can publish. Click Targets and select yourself for testing or a larger group if you are ready to broadcast to all staff. Working through the other configurations, by default, the ticker is scheduled to be published immediately for one month, but that can be adjusted to meet your needs. The delivery options default to sending the scrolling ticker to apps installed on PCs and Macs. The default ticker settings are to scroll at a medium speed from the right and to repeat all headlines three times before automatically closing. Naturally, staff can close the ticker by clicking the close button at any stage. The Snapcom server checks for new headlines every 30 minutes and fires the tickers if there is something new. The newest headline will appear first. Now let's click publish and see how the RSS ticker will appear on employee screens. Confirm the settings. and the RSS ticker will appear on staff screens within two minutes, showing the latest headlines from your chosen news source. Clicking on a headline takes you to the news story on the Wall Street Journal. You can close the ticker by clicking the close button. To use your Twitter or other social feed in the RSS ticker, you first need to process it to the RSS XML format. To do that, 
Select a service like Fetch RSS. Create a free account. Select RSS Generator. And enter the URL of the Twitter account you would like to feed. Copy the XML to the Snapcom's URL field. And select Done. Thanks for watching this Snapcom's tutorial. If you require additional help, please email tech.support at snapcoms.com.